Hi guys, it's Prasanna here and today we'll be discussing on the topic called packet loss. Today I will be explaining you what packet loss is, how can we reduce the packet loss and get the greater internet performance. Also I will be showing you the live example of the packet loss. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see the live example of the packet loss. Before starting the video, please show some love to my videos guys please like share and subscribe my videos it really helped me so smash that thumbs up button and subscribe button so without wasting time let's start the video so before understanding what does packet loss mean we need to understand what does packet mean so a packet is nothing but the small segment of the large message so let's understand this with the help of the example let us suppose you're surfing the internet through your laptop your computer your mobile device or any other electronic device so when you surf you either share your data or either you request for the data let us suppose this is a client machine and this is the server machine so you either request for the data or you, or you either share your data so when you request or share your data the data doesn't travel in its original form it gets distributed into small segments and this small segment we call packet this small segment we call packet this small segment contains the source information the destination information and the small content of data and this data travels from client to server or from server to client in this small packets so now by understanding what does packet mean let us understand what does packet loss means so let us suppose you you have got the internet connection from your internet service provider you have your router set, or, set it up you turn on your laptop and as soon as you turn your laptop you connect to your router through wi-fi connection so we know when you use wi-fi connection the data sharing takes place through waves all the content of your data will be shared or requested through waves now when the data travel through waves what generally happens the waves get interference from a lots of natural objects and disturbance from the objects so let us suppose uh, you are requesting the data through your router and when your router gets the response it shares you this response in this form of small packets now what generally happen this packet travel through waves now what generally happen these waves get interference from your television from your oven even from your cell phone even by the wall and what generally it does it affects the packet and this packet gets lost so only this packet reaches to your laptop now how does router detect that the packet has been lost so what generally happen when the router sends the packet to your laptop your laptop sends the response to your router that yes the packet has been received when router doesn't receive the response for that packet it resends that packet again and it creates delay this creates delay and when you are doing some real time activity like you're playing multiplayer games like pubg and all you will get a very worse performance there your ping will very highly increase and it would really affect your online gaming performance and this is something we don't want guys so what we can do what we can do to uh uh uh, reduce the packet loss the simple option is to use lan connection guys simple option is to use lan connection so when you use lan connection your packets travel through lan wire they doesn't travel through waves and since they doesn't travel through waves they doesn't get interference or disturbance by this other machine or natural objects and you get the full performance guys yes you get the full performance also sometimes you get packet loss from the lan wire too 
suppose your LAN wire has a bandwidth of 5 gigahertz and you're sending the data of 6 gigahertz to your LAN wire guys then definitely this LAN wire bandwidth get will get over flooded and you will suffer packet loss but this thing also happen with the waves guys so definitely waves are very sensitive in comparison to LAN wire so you will get a greater performance in the LAN wire so let's understand it through the a live example guys so as you can see I have not connected to my internet so firstly I will be connecting to my internet using my Wi-Fi as you can see, I've been connected to my Wi-Fi. Now I will visit the speedtest.net. As you can see, I'm on their website. So let's go. So here I will be checking the download speed and as well as upload speed. So as you can see, I'm almost getting, I'm almost hitting 133, 134. And let's see what's the final outcome here. Almost reaching 141, 143, that's good. I almost reach 143 let's see the upload speed so as you can see I'm hitting 52 53 let's see what's the final outcome so as you can see guys this is the live stats of the Wi-Fi connection so I'm, I'm almost getting 51 Mbps upload speed and 143 download speed through Wi-Fi let's try it with the Ethernet that is through the LAN cable so it is identifying and in, as you can see I'm connected to my LAN device sorry LAN wire I'm gonna refresh the page and I'm gonna go so as you can see my download speed is almost 143 and my upload speed was 51 using Wi-Fi now I'm through my LAN wire connection let's see what's download speed and the upload speed let's go through uh, the download speed I'm almost getting 140 142 as expected 143.21 as the download speed and you check my upload speed guys you just check my upload speed it is almost hitting 126 128 I mean this is the significant improvement over 51 guys so as you can see the live example of the packet loss as I was using my Wi-Fi connection my upload speed was get getting affected and as soon as I switched to my LAN connection you can see the totally different stats guys so this is the this was the live example of the packet loss guys so I hope uh, you like the video I hope you understood understood all the concept here and uh, if you want the greater performance guys I will always suggest you to use LAN wire uh, so this is it guys please like share and subscribe my videos with this I will be ending my video peace thank you